Hey there, Sage from Tiny Home Tours here. We're about to take a tour of this 1974 Airstream situated on a five acre working organic farm. But before we do, I'm gonna let you know that this video is sponsored by Airbnb. Please enjoy. Hi, I'm Delia and this is my Airbnb Airstream and I'd like you to come in and have a tour. So to begin the tour, we're in the bedroom area, and here I have a queen size bed, and it's very comfortable. I get a lot of people saying how comfortable this bed is. And two little side tables where I always put water for my guests, because I think that's important, and they seem to love that. There's also two electrical outlets on either side, so you can plug in cell phones. Like I said, there's little tables on the side of the bed, so you can you know, plug in, put your phone there, iPad, whatever, books. And I had this bed made so that, you know, you could get out on either side. I love this little light here. I think this looks like a little fireplace. This is my little romantic fireplace <laughs> because of the glow it gives. This area now is just a kind of a storage bin. Inside here, I keep a little ironing board and an iron. And then the rest is storage for people to put their bags when they come. And then for my curtains, I just got these little tea towels. And this one has little trailers on it and it's whimsical and cute. Then here is a little kitchen table, you know, and, and you can put it up or put it down. And I got this in Ikea, which is a great place to buy things for small spaces. Ikea rocks. These things on, if you're trying to get it like, you know, from boat supplies, cost a fortune. Ikea, nothing. And then I have a couple, you know, of the metal stools that people can take out, just put here when the table's up, eat in here if they choose to. And I always put flowers around, bottle of wine, cookies, something when people come that they have to can munch on if they're hungry. And then this was made from a hundred year old piece of wood from Connecticut that a friend of mine brought here and didn't use. So I said, I'll use it, I'll get it to work. So this is a closet here. Then there's storage down here, a couple little blankets for when you're sitting out by the fire pit. I started hosting with Airbnb in 2018. And part of the reason I did this was because when, uh, quite a while ago I heard someone say, when you're young, work for your land. When you're older, have your land work for you. And that always stuck with me. And I thought, hmm, how can I make that work? And we bought our property here in 1996. And so I was working for 35 years as a hairstylist. And when I was getting towards the end, I thought, I'm gonna have to figure this out now. So I bought this old Airstream piece of crap. Just coming back with it, we had to stop twice on the freeway, myself and the tow truck man, to make sure that the chassis was still there and when I got it home nobody could believe it it was such so in such bad condition and I said you just wait <laughs> and then it took years but I did it as I could afford to when I had cash got great guys working for me and then it just it just got better and better and um, a, a friends of mine were doing Airbnb and they suggested that I try that and I was very nervous about it. I thought, I don't know if I can do that. It sounds like a lot of work and, and no, 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 it's really easy. And then when I did get on Airbnb, it's been nothing but a joy, seriously. I mean, the people you meet, uh, the appreciation you get, you know, it's just been, it's been a great experience. I've really enjoyed it. My goal here for this whole place was to make this comfortable and also easy to clean. And so here we have the full-size kitchen, we've got the gas range and stove. And then this is where I keep all the cutlery and I keep really organized, you know, like wine openers and can openers and peelers and gas starters, scissors, just the essential things, big knives. And then in this one, there's just a couple bowls, you know, salad bowls and things like that. And then the third one are kind of like napkins, plastic bags for people, um, aluminum foil, extra coffee pods. And then here, a good size sink, because there is no dishwasher or anything like that. So I wanted a good size sink for people. 
and I keep all the kind of supplies for them here underneath the sink. So they just put this out and, you know, rinse off whatever they've been using. Then this area always, like I said, put fresh flowers. Those are um, dish towels. And underneath here I have, which is one of my favorite features, a pull-out trash can and all their bags and liners and everything are easy to have and put in. And, you know, that's the thing, just to be really efficient and clean. This section here is my little cupboard. And in here I keep my coffee pods up here. And then I have a curry coffee machine. I have a French press, toaster, dishes, glasses. And then underneath here is a microwave. And then this little Magic Chef refrigerator with a freezer on top, which is handy rather than have something with one door. And then inside I always stock like some LaCroix for people and some half and half coffee. Let's see, in this area here, then I have the smart TV. So this gets Amazon Prime and Netflix. And then under here is just storage again, you know, so people can put their bags or whatever. And there's a little bit of storage there. I keep extra lanterns around in case there's an electricity outage. And then here, you'll see this in a while, is a, there's a bird area. So I keep a little book, Birds of California, so people can identify them. And I keep an extra phone charger also here, just in case if somebody forgets. Okay, and over here we have full air conditioning and heating, which is very important in an Airstream. And when I chose this table, I chose something that was oval like this that didn't have any points that people wouldn't be running into and hurting themselves. I think that's an important part. This is a faux, you know, cowhide, but I can throw this in the washing machine too and just dry it on the line. And then these chairs I love. They're easy to clean again. And this was one of the first things I bought that gave me my sense of design in here. And once I got those and sat on one and thought about it, it kind of came to me. And then here is just, a, I, I keep the magazines like all the, uh, from different, different areas around here that people can look at. And then these are originally in, this was a 1974 Airstream. So I decided not to take this out because I liked it. But in here I keep books and I keep a Scrabble game and cards for people. And I just figure if they start reading a book and they want to take it with them, take it with them. And then these curtains, which are cool too, because they're just Kashimas that I put up on a kind of a curtain track like that. And that keeps it cool in here. I usually have that pulled. What surprised me when I started hosting was I thought it was gonna be a lot harder than it was. And I wasn't sure how you interacted with people, but I find people are so kind and generous and appreciative when they come here. I think my hosting style is one of relaxation. I want people to come up here and just be amazed at the magic of this place because it is magical. It's a lovely little organic ranch in a canyon. And you know, there's no outside lights, you know, so you get the night sky, which is beautiful. And just having like an outside bathroom, an outside shower, that's a nice thing. And I try and make it like no trace camping. When somebody leaves, I want this place perfect for the next person. You know, everything has to be really pristine. So here, where it says Airstream Sovereign, I left her original tattoos. I thought that was pretty cool. Probably kids put them on a long time ago, but anyway, it gives her a little character. And then I have a water fountain here, and I have it because this is a working farm, so there can be sounds of tractors and things like that. And it's kind of nice. It doesn't happen that often, but sometimes it can be noisy. So I have this, and people can just turn it on and have the lovely sound of, of water. And then again, I oh, this little birdhouse is a trip. Somebody gave that to me, and there actually are birds that nest in here. And they don't seem to be afraid of people that are up here. They do their thing, just little canyon wrens. And that's special when that happens, I think. Okay, so this is the outside seating area where you can, actually you can work out here too because there's an outlet right there. And so you can just sit here, you get really good Wi-Fi out here. And it's comfortable to have your meal. And then over here is just a little area that you could, I, I originally did this because I thought there'd be a lot of surfers coming and I thought they might want to hang wetsuits up. But that doesn't seem to be happening that much, so I just turned it into a little kind of succulent focal point. I use a lot of succulents because it's hot out here and it's dry. So I don't want to be coming into anybody's space when they have it and watering. So I just put real low maintenance things around, but make it look very, you know, make it look cool. These are actually faux because there's no way I could have ferns that were hanging there. 
but I think it looks cool. <laughs> okay, so this is my outside shower, which is super cool. I had this designed by a plumber who figured out how to do that. So I'm using this Simply Human set because I figured I didn't want soap all, all over the place. You know, it's easier just to have a pump. Again, it's cleanliness and, and for me to make it easy to clean or whoever's cleaning it. So the shower is great. Everybody loves the shower, a little shower curtain if you choose, but if you didn't, it doesn't matter because it's just, you know, this is elevated and it, the, the water would just go straight down. And then nice little toilet place to put the, I always provide a lot of towels for people. And then again, I, I think hooks are so important. Here we have like a medicine cabinet. I keep my first aid kit in here, uh, extra toilet paper, sanitizer, another lantern just in case there's an electrical problem. And then down here is just kind of, uh, it's where I keep the extra toilet paper, soap, detergent for the washing machine, a hair dryer, which I think is super important too. Just put that in here because that's something that sometimes people forget to pack and they really want that. And then there's three trash cans here. So I have a trash can and then a recycling can for, for, for bottles and then a small one over here. And then I have a little washing machine. It's one of those European ones. It's supposed to wash and dry, but really the drying takes forever. So I just tell people just wash, just use it for a washing machine. And then more hooks, because I do love hooks. <laughs> this area here in front of the Airstream, I planted with succulents. And because again, it's drought tolerant, so I don't have to come up and be watering all the time, conserve water. And then this is the fire pit area, which is lovely area. And when it's not lit, you can just sit here and use this as a table. And then when in the evening comes, just take that off like that and you know, sit around, have your glass of wine, put your feet up here and enjoy. And this is my little bird viewing area that I love. And this swing is made of resin because it's easy to clean and it lasts for a long time too. So it's really fun to come up here in the morning with your cup of coffee. That's when the birds are really out in the morning and the evening. In the evening, come up with a glass of wine or something and just relax and watch the birds eating and taking a bath. Okay, the reason I have this bird area, this bird viewing area is because Quite a while ago, I was up here just doing some gardening and the next thing, this big flock of parrots arrived and it was so exciting. So I ran out and got all kinds of, ran, went in and checked out the internet, what you're supposed to feed parrots, got all the stuff I was supposed to feed them. They didn't eat any of the things I gave them, but they did hang around for a couple of, couple of weeks. I call them dial a party because they were the happiest sound when they came. And that's why I created this whole little garden area. So my Airstream to me is like a little art project. You know, I took something that was a dump and turned it into something that I think is beautiful. And it's like recycling too, because this was recycled. You know, this could have been thrashed completely. And, and so that's been fun. And I get inspiration from it all the time. I mean, I, I love it myself. I love being up here. I've been lucky enough to only have five star reviews. I have over 200 five star reviews. And that's, you know, that's been a great, great kind of ego boost also. And that's what keeps me wanting to make it perfect and wanting to give people something better each time, you know, because I can't help it. I love those five-star reviews. <laughs> Thanks for coming on this tour. And if you'd like to learn more about this place, then just go on Airbnb and look up Iconic Airstream 1974 on an organic ranch. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Follow the link in the description to find out more information on how you can host your own Airbnb. Thanks for watching.